I'm laying in a solitary confinement cell in my own blood, in an orange jumpsuit and no, no mat and no pillow. And I'm laying in this dark cell. I'm going to be there for a long time. In incarceration speak, we call it jail in jail. I'm in the dungeon, the belly of the prison, essentially. And suddenly this African-American woman, I can still remember her face like it, like it was yesterday, just walks into this pod where all these people are in the solitary confinement. The worst criminals in the jail are housed here and, and mental illness and all of that. And she puts a NIV uh, Youth Edition Study Bible in my the chow slot of the of the cell, and she smiles, turns, and walks away. Didn't stop anywhere else. Now I know today that this was an angel. Um, the the Bible says you've entertained angels unaware, and God loves to send angels in green suits and handcuffs for some reason in my life. I took that Bible in my hand, and for a while I thought about kicking it back out of the slot. I thought about tearing it up. I thought about throwing it. I was a very angry, uh, messed up young man. But because I had nothing to do and I was going to be here for a while, uh, I didn't. And I kept that Bible. And I opened that Bible. And I began to read. And God, through his God breathed, Paul makes up a word to describe scripture, theonuchtos, that it's God breathed, began to communicate to me through his word and to tell me that I was beloved, to tell me that he. He loved me and he had a call and a plan for my life. Uh, and it wasn't, it wasn't going to end in this solitary confinement cell. And that cell became a church uh, where I came to myself like that prodigal son rolling around in the mud trough of sin. Uh, and I, I felt God's presence and God's voice and God's love uh, to give me a, a second chance at life.